look at these guys. Holy mackerel, look at that tank. That's gigantic. Hey, where we at today, dude? Aquatic Dream. Yeah, we're at the biggest aquarium service company in Ohio. Let's go check this out and see what's going on here. All right, here's Jimmy. He's the owner of Aquatic Dreams. How you doing, sir? Good. How are you guys doing? Good, good, good. We're out here. Jack's got an N-E-O-E-A day, whatever that means. All it means is you don't have to go to school today, right? So we're going to come here. We're going to check you out. Let's throw some questions over here at Jimmy. All right, so I was going to ask you, um, how long have you had the business? We took the business over January 1st, 1997. The business originated in 1983. So you, do you just run this by yourself or do you have a... No, I have a business partner. He's a, His name is Jeffrey Sari. He's a CPA accountant. So he does all the business on it. You know. Yeah, I was going to ask, have you ever had anyone like famous go to your business or get any fish or anything? Um, we've had some, I, I wouldn't say famous, we've had um, Wayne Dawson, um, We've had football players back in the day, baseball oh. players in the day. Um, we love Wayne Dawson. We watch him like every morning. Yeah. yeah, yeah so he's got tanks and stuff uh, that you guys service. We did. He, um, his wife lost his job in that, so right now he doesn't have a servicing in that um, due to financial reasons. That, that's what he told us anyway. And um, there were some other people we used to do back. Stephanie Schaefer and um, we used to do Sandy Alomar's tank and... Um, Famous uh, yeah, baseball, baseball player. player. Yeah, yeah. We used to do a lot of baseball players, but we have, right now we're not doing it. I guess just some of the new guys just aren't in the fish tanks right now. So. Well, COVID changed a lot of things and everything, too, exactly. for a lot of people exactly. and everything like that. So uh, what? Uh, how many customers do you actually have in this area? Um, we probably have approximately, I don't know exactly, around 700 customers. Wow. Yeah, we have three bands that are on the road full, full time, um, five days a week, eight hours a day. And then we have two other vehicles, mine, and I do whatever. Um, I help out with the, you know, I do mostly sales. Um, if there's a problem, a fish dies, or, a, you know, someone has a power shortage, or something happens, that's an emergency call. If one of my guys on an early out in the area, I'll run out and take care of it, you know, and. You know, then of course I got five bands I have to take care of. So, you know, oil changes, maintenance. Okay, so uh, what's the biggest tank you guys service? Our biggest aquarium is 760 gallons at Fortney and Wayne Gant. We've been taking care of that aquarium for 27 years. Wow, that's a That's time. a big tank. Yeah, that's a huge tank. We, we didn't install it, someone else did. They weren't happy with it. We kind of had to fix it up, but we've been servicing it ever since. And then we have another very large tank out in Geneva I don't know exactly how many gallons that is. We did that one. That one's like eight foot long, very large aquarium also. What's the biggest fish you have? Probably the biggest fish are in Fortney Lake out there, huge red oh. devils. They're, they, um, the, the gentleman that owned Fortney was a tall guy. He was like seven four. Unfortunately, he passed away. So wow. He liked, he liked everything big. <laughs> so that's why he has a big tank. He liked the big fish and everything. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll go try to get a look at that later. Yeah, yeah maybe I can set that up for you. That'd be awesome. So what interested you in, like, building fish tanks? Well, when we were all kids, we would go down to the creeks, and, we, you know, I was always an outdoorsman, and um, I came from a family of 10, so I didn't have a lot of money, so we would build our own aquariums. We'd get, we would get wood, I would garbage pick an old TV, take the glass out, silicone it in, silicone it, and back in the day, you could buy paint that you could seal it all with, good oil-based paint. And, That's awesome. And we'd go to the creek and just get crayfish, get little bass, little bluegill, um, mud puppies, you know, cause, yeah. and get, get our rock and we get everything from the park, you know. Just make your own homemade and, tanks. And make our own tanks. I wish I had pictures of them. I wish I, you know, but back then you didn't have all the phones and. Yeah, you know, nobody I, had a. I, I made some really cool aquariums where I had ledges, you know, we'd get a final little painted turtle and raise it. It's cool, it's just DIY. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, we had a, a lot. We, we, the coolest fish we ever had was my brother had a big Oscar. It was huge, and he had, he had you know, put them old rod iron stands, and he had to take in the bottom and top, and the Oscar was on the bottom, and my friend, actually my friend Don Johnson, I purchased the business from that started it, his dog would come over, and the Oscar and the dog would fight through the glass. <laughs> the dog would, like, attack it, and the Oscar would, like, come back. And it's just, it's a shame these phones went around, because it was the coolest thing you could have posted somewhere, you know, the way they'd go at it every time you come over. Yeah, back then it was different. We weren't walking around with computers in our hands. Exactly, but it was really cool. And um, actually, Don that started the business when he when he told us he wanted to start Aquatic Dreams, 
we thought he was insane and figured he'd be bankrupt in six months. And wow. Look, look at us now. And you guys are the biggest aquarium yeah, service. We're the largest service and maintenance aquarium in Northeast Ohio. How, how many customers total do you have, you said? We have approximately 700 wow. customers. And, you know, from ponds, fountains, aquariums, lobster aquariums, and the grocery stores and everything, restaurants. And, and how much staff does it take to run 700? We have six, six employees. Wow. Wow, that's like 120 or something tanks per person to maintain. Isn't that crazy, buddy? Well, that's interesting. Yeah, what's fortunate for us is having a route. So, you know, each van's in an area for the day. Right. So that's that's the advantage of having a lot of customers. So you get some, you go in one area, you drive there, you do the area, and you come back. Then you have another day. All and over Ohio. All over Ohio, yeah. Yeah, we go as far as Columbus, as far as Geneva East, and as far as... Um, Sandusky West. Wow. And most of the stuff we go to Columbus for is lobster aquariums, the items like that. We don't really have a route. The um, farthest west, farthest south route we have is Wadsworth, um, Marion, down in that area. So what's your favorite fish? Angelfish. Always, I like always, angelfish. Yeah, I always liked the angelfish. Um, yeah, angels were my first. I was four years old, had a little angel on the dining room table named Angel Gabriel. Good Catholic boy growing up in Parma, so I had a name Angel Gabriel. And uh, we actually are just got done building and refurbishing a tank, and we're going to put putting some angels in there, right? Yeah. So that's kind of exciting because we haven't really had them since then. So do you keep any fish in this facility? Yes, we have holding fish here. Um, our service is, if you're a deluxe service customer, we guarantee fish through the natural causes. So therefore, if your fish dies of old age or, or whatever, we, 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 we replace the fish at no charge to you. Um, we have a service called Deluxe Service well, every other week or every four weeks, but if you want to go with. We install automatic feeders. The price includes food. Cool. The price includes all filter media. We put a timer on the light to control the light. We switch plants and rocks out as they get dirty. We charge you a yearly plant charge because plants as bleaching them, they only last about a year. Yeah. So we totally take care of your fish tank. Really, the only thing you got to do is with, if a fish dies is remove it and write us a check. So it's basically if people want to just enjoy an aquarium in their home or their business, and you guys handle everything and they really don't have to yes. do anything. Yes, and, and fish, fish aquariums have been the number one hobby for like 20 some years straight now. And if you have heart conditions, the best, best thing doctors tell you to do is sit 45 minutes a day in front of a fish aquarium. Yeah. Well, that's what Jack always says everywhere we go, right? Hospitals, nursing homes, right. dentist's office. Sometimes the filter is just a nice noise. Exactly. Yeah, the noise, the scenery. And another thing Aquatic Dreams does is we donate to hospitals, Our Lady Wayside, child care centers, nursing homes. We have a great donation program where just we, we, we supply the tank. You have a monthly, we just have a, a, a small service and delivery charge for bringing it in there and signing of a service contract just so we're guaranteed that someone's, one of our competitors won't take over the tank. Right, so basically you guys will maintain it, but you give them the tank for free. Yes, give them the tank for free, and signing of a service contract, it, it's worked out great. So That's awesome. Yeah, so if you know anyone, you know, because old people, they have nothing, you know, yeah. and they become the pets. Well, I've been a nurse for over 30 years, and every hospital or nursing facility I've ever worked at always has an aquarium, and, and the residents and patients love that. It's good in restaurants, too. Yeah? Yes. So are these some of the fish you keep here? Yes, these are fish that will su supply in fish aquariums for replacement fish if, if needed. This is really nice, actually. Yeah, it's cool. This little wood uh, stuff. So you got all kind of fish backed up here. So you can stock a new tank, or if somebody loses fish, you could replace them. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, it's like a little fish store in here. Really cool. nice. And then this goes all the way around to the other side. Let me go over here. <clears throat> so this would be an example of like one of the lobster tanks you the guys have, huh? Yeah, that one yeah. there I'm refurbishing them. It's going to be up for sale. Cool. And there's more. You know, we love garamis. Golden garamis is one of our favorite fish of all time. A Got a bunch of hoods and supplies. Always ready to go. That's a lot of tanks to service. Yeah, well, look at that big old blue guy there. He's nice, huh? About as big as uh, Jack's. That's a female, actually. Yeah. About as big as Maybe Jack's golden bigger. ones. Yeah. So this is where everything gets uh, set up. All your guys get set up before they leave for the day down here with everything. Exactly. Yeah, look at all this stuff. 
Oh yeah, look at this. Got some damsels in here. Yeah, just some damsels. We don't stock a lot of salt salt fishes as we need and we get them. Right. We'll get them but it's them nice because you got we the always, rock ready to go too. keep our fish for a couple of weeks before we put them in the tank just to make sure they're healthy, they eat good. Sure. So they're going to be a good product for the customer. Sure. These are all corals that we keep clean as we switch out. They're not going to corals and rocks. Yeah, totally and, awesome. Yeah. It's great. And we get set up with the wet dry system there. Maybe we'll even uh, go check out some of the other tanks. I know you said there's a funeral home like right next door that has yes. one. Yes. And then of course Andy's Car Wash, we always go to Andy's and they have a great one there too, yes. we've shown before. Right across the street at Bretton Ridge, we have an aquarium in there at the Animal Hospital. Oh yeah, we'll check that yeah. out too maybe. Hey, you guys got the coolest cars. Yeah, you know, actually these vehicles bring us the most business. We have, we get more business from our vehicles than anything else, any other advertising. So when your people are out driving around all over the state doing their service, people see these cars. Exactly. How cool are they? I'm going to get a shot around the outside here. Yeah, so there's the phone number. We're going to put everything in the description to the website, the phone number. If you live anywhere in Ohio, you want an awesome, awesome service. These guys have been doing this forever. Aquatic dreams, guys. Here's one of the aquariums we uh, service right here and maintain right across the street from us, right at the Animal Clinic. Yeah, and super nice. It stays nice, we service it every other week. Let me turn this around here so I can get some close-ups. So this is Sarah and Jennifer over here at Bretton Ridge Animal Clinic. And when people are waiting over here with their, with their animals, they get to hang out and see this awesome tank that Jimmy put in here, huh? Look at this, this is a great one. Yeah, you got a cool pleco, you got some sail fins. Really, really nice. So this is a little waiting area. And they could come here while they're waiting and uh, check out this awesome tank. So that's great, that's a nice one. Thank you. That's a nice one, man. <laughs> Somebody's got an appointment there this morning, huh? All right, so here's another tank. We're over here at Chambers Funeral Home right down the street. Wonderful organization that uh, we've been affiliated with for years. They got a beautiful tank right here in the lobby, don't they, buddy? I like that little block they have, it says Chambers. Yeah, so they have their little thing in there. And of course, there's the Aquatic Dreams little thing. And he's got some African cichlids in there's here. Catfish. Yep, that's actually a red-tailed shark. Oh yeah, you look like a catfish. And yeah, well he was turned sideways. And then they always keep the plecos. They've got a couple golf balls in there, some fun things. There's a, there's a rainbow shark. He's got another... Uh, some cichlids down in there. Beautiful area. Got some SpongeBob stuff. But you can see just how pristine these guys uh, take care of their tanks. You know, they come and do it. Look at this wonderful lobby here. Big spiral staircase, fancy. And it's super cool. Yeah, it's super cool to have this when people are waiting in the lobby and they can sit here and hang out. Beautiful, beautiful tank. Love that. Love that stand and everything, how that comes together. All right, what an awesome guy Jimmy was, huh, dude? Yeah, he was cool. 700 fish tanks they maintain with like six guys. Isn't that amazing? Biggest in Ohio. It's amazing. Hey, and he showed us a couple of the tanks around here too. What we're going to do is we're going to go take a look because it's only a few minutes away. We're going to take a look at the biggest tank they service. It's like 700 gallons or something, right? Yeah. Let's go over there and have a look. Okay, wow, look at this tank, guys. This is a huge 700 and 50 gallon tank full of amidas cichlids this is an amazing tank um she just fed them this morning so it's a tiny bit cloudy but look at this awesome centerpiece in this office this is a big general contractor company over here in north ridgeville right by where we live and this is a huge centerpiece tank that's been here for like 25 years that aquatic dreams has been servicing isn't that amazing? Look at that big acrylic tank with these guys right in the middle of the room like that. That is an amazing tank. Look at that top. Wow, that is so neat. It's a big, huge office here. And what a cool place for people to wait. So this would be the waiting area here. Just another amazing aquarium that these guys have done. In a room this big, it doesn't look like that huge of a tank, but it is a gigantic tank. Look at those guys. What a bunch of beauties. I'm just going to turn this around here so you can see how big this tank is. I mean, guys, I'm six foot one. Look at how tall this thing is, way over my head, all the way to the ceiling. 
This woodwork and this canopy goes, how beautiful. Look at all these guys, massive. This is one of the biggest tanks that they service. It's actually only a couple miles from our house. Big, huge, awesome company. Unfortunately, they're still having the mask rule. Jack forgot his mask at home, so he wasn't able to come in. So I just kind of came in to shoot it myself. How amazing is this tank? What a cool waiting area. If you were waiting here to talk to these guys, uh, they're a big construction company. Really, really awesome. We'll put a link in the description for them too and uh, links for everything, but how amazing is that? Well, listen, we really appreciate your time, Jimmy. What other kind of things do you do? You said that you also do things for yeah. schools and stuff? Yes, if you're, um, if anyone's interested, we go to uh, a lot of the libraries of Fisher Corn that we do, or the school classes, and I actually would come and do a class. I have sheets, let the kids know how to set an aquarium up. It's awesome. What they need to get set it up right, what filtration they need, how to cycle the water, keep the water parameters right because that's a lot of items people make mistake at the beginning but not overfeeding and killing their fish up the beginning and how important it is to have the tank biologically safe before you add the proper fish so you do little presentations like for yes. schools and for libraries exactly, around here yes that's really awesome that's something you know, i volunteer my time for if they're, if they're interested during the day or something they can schedule it with me well it's great because kids need to learn about this hobby you know uh, video games and a lot of technology has taken over exactly. a lot of these kids and that's one of the reasons that Jack and I do this is we like to show people hey there's other stuff too you know when like when guys like me and Jimmy were kids we didn't have phones and video games no you know we had aquariums exactly <laughs> aquariums park we were always outside doing something yeah that's all we had well listen you're a really neat guy we really uh, are glad you gave us a tour we're gonna probably check out some of these aquariums at some of these businesses around here and show people some of the awesome work that you guys do. We really appreciate your time, Jimmy. Thanks so much and have Thank an awesome you. day. Thank you for the opportunity.